That's you right. have so much more competition. We do. You have to be successful globally. Looking especially at Europe, how are you going to do that? China's been a big success story for you. Europe, not so much yet. Well, Europe, um, again, you know, if you, if you look at Europe, um, you know, and, and I, I don't run Europe, but, you know, the European product that we're introducing in the market is, is excellent. You know, we've gotten, you know, car of the year. We've gotten the, the Golden Steering Wheel Award with Astra. Um, all of these things are really important. It does not happen overnight, though. Mm -hmm. um, the bankruptcy of General Motors did not happen overnight. And so um, there, there's a lot of history there and perception um, that we just have to we have to bring out great products. And, and that, over a long period of time, um, we'll, we'll fix it. Yeah. Uh, sales in China up 30 percent this year. Mm -hmm. 2.4 million GM vehicles sold there versus 2.2 million here in the United States. Does the momentum just keep going? Will you continue to sell more cars in China? Well, I think so. If you look at what Tim Lee and the team have done over there, in, in, in particular in Asia Pacific, um, is you know uh, an unbelievable uh, pace and agility relative to how the market is changing. And the, the market changes there almost every month, and so that sales leadership um, is a reflection of their ability to change to that um, you know the different market uh, conditions that that are happening so fast. So. What about the Indian market? That that's a place where Ford has done exceptionally well. They don't do as well as you guys in China, though. So, right. what's your game plan for India? Well, India if you look at India um, and, and Carl Slim and what he's doing over there in the team, um, you know, Chevrolet in India is has had tremendous growth. So, you know, um, I think I just look for that to continue. We've got, you know, some of the cars like Cruise and, and Spark, um, you know, for Chevrolet in India are just tremendously huge opportunities Do, for us. Does India hold the promise of China? Because those, those, there are those that will argue that it, it just doesn't. Well, uh, you know, again, it's hard for me to speculate. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, I don't have a crystal ball, but I would say um, uh, the Indian market and the, the income levels um, probably are way ahead of the infrastructure there. And so when the infrastructure begins to catch up, um, you're going to see an explosion there that we, you know, similar to what we saw in China. And, you know, I think that's all on the horizon. And the pace of that, you know, I really don't know.